a two foot privacy fence right here. We're getting set up to put our our anchors. Once we put our anchors, we'll weld those two by twos right here. Do a frame all the way through to his back wall and to the other side. So that way we could put some, some metal roofing. And then uh, once we already have all the frame up, we'll be able to put it up and it'll be a nice privacy fence. most important ones always when you're doing a well is your starting point and your ending point as long as everything follows that direction it looks straight On every straight wall, you need two points of of uh, preference that way to make a straight line. Vice versa, you need one on top and then one on bottom, the one that we already snapped. This is for the plates that could be in line, and now the top needs to be in line. And with that level here, level over there, run a string line, mix everything up. Hopefully it falls in between the, the bolts all the way through. You got it? You pull it? So unfortunately I dropped a spray can on a neighbor's yard. So I'm gonna attempt to fish it out. Get my lure. So in theory, I should get the middle rim on the bottom because that's the only part that's steel. Fine, it's fishing in the deep. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Getting ready to weld a couple of pipes together. To make one length. So that way we don't use so much product and save some on money and you know, makes it look good. too well because it keeps a, a nice 90 de degree angle off the uprights so that way there's less plus needs to be done
of what I'm doing here is, is I'm grinding the the weld joints from where Joey welded the the frame together. I'm just grinding it to kind of polish it so the panels can go up here real really nice. panels and first one we need is our our joint and then everything that follows after so that way it doesn't get all all bent all bent and wavy I'm gonna go right into the yep <laughs> on the, the wall so it ties everything in and the uh, thing it does is it hides any unevenness on top so it makes it look finished and uh, a lot better to fit into the the uprights where the bolts are at so that way it goes in flush into right here Yeah, these guys are getting the trim put on. Customer decided to go with the brown, which is a very nice combo. You can either do brown or white usually uh, with the tan. They both look good with the brown. I think the brown is probably my choice as well. It's a nice, nice touch. Unfortunately, this bottom trim is a little wavy, so you're probably gonna see that. As you can see up here, the, the cap on this rock wall is just really wavy. You know, they just didn't smooth it out as, as good as it could have been when it was originally put in so you got high points and you got low dips so these low dips are really really wavy so you can see right through it so we're trying to put this trim on that way it'll try to hide those waves but in order to make it hide the waves you know we're having to screw it in wavy so yeah it's looking good of course the trim on the top is looking really smooth um so that one you know, that one we were able to do is smooth the way it should be. But um, yeah, just the bottom one. So should be wrapping up here pretty soon. Get it all uh, all set and yeah, sure. Sure makes for a good uh, wall out here. More of like an outdoor space, I guess. An outdoor room, really, you know. You don't, you can walk out here. You can't, don't have to worry about people seeing you except for maybe that two story there. But other than that, not too bad, too nice. 